I got a text this morning from a friend saying, uh, do you want three new Matics? And he wasn't asking very much for them. So I was like, yeah, sure. But uh, it kind of grew arms and legs, and then it was four, and then it was, you know, it was all that. Anyway, he, went, he said basically there was three. He went to go and get them. Turns out there was two. But then he said, my wife's got two to sell as well. Do you want them? So these two are from his wife. Now, these people had a huge cleaning business absolutely hundreds of years ago. Probably till quite recently. And um, he must have ditched the business and ditched all the stuff. And he went into fixing industrial cleaning equipment and the wife still had a wee cleaning business going. So that and that are from the cleaning business and these are from another thing, not really industrial. If you remember a couple of years ago, I got about six NRVs and there were blue, red and green ones. Um, I don't know if I ever filmed them. Well, these two are from the same people. And actually, I remember two years ago, we went, ah, my wife's kept a yellow one and a grey one, so that's obviously them. Anyways, but these two are from somewhere, but they're now made redundant because of cordless machines. So, if we we'll put them together. Now, obviously, semi-recently, they've went, eh, ah, we need new tools on them. And they've obviously bought a genuine kit, somehow, and they've bought a generic kit, but a genuine floor head. Now... These two poles are welded together. I've been trying to separate them, but I can't. But these two aren't. So we actually have a Henry Cordless style floor head, which is practically brand new. I don't actually think it's ever really been used for hard floors much at all. So, you know, generic pole. There's a nice clean generic hose on this one. So this is really cool. I was, I was told NRVs. They said, yeah, they'll probably be NRVs like the last batch, but that's not an NRV. And then we also have a, this one looks a bit more used, but it's still pretty good. Again, it won't have been used on hard floors much, so that's a bonus. And obviously that's got a genuine hose and everything on it. So this is a 2007 NRV. It's been part tested recently. And it does that, no, it's that one's got loads of part testing stickers on it. Also the filters have swapped around on them, so that red one had this filter in it. There's no bag in it, as you can see. <laughs> and that obviously had the thing in it. But since I've swapped them, it's now really hard to put the lid on. Like the clip fights you. You've got to like, kind of just start pushing it and then giving it a whack. But anyway, it fits. We'll maybe have to untangle these. But let's put this blue one in. It's 2007, so I don't know how ropey the motor will be in it. Uh, I generally find 15 years of heavy use for a twin fold doesn't do them the best good. Well, now it's not working. So that's schnitzels. Well, it worked that time. Okay, well, that didn't work, but then it did work. I wonder if it's a plug. Let's try it this time. Okay, it's working this time. You all saw that though, that it didn't work. Um, don't know what's going to be wrong with that. But that's in nice condition otherwise. Um, let's chuck that over there just now. And we shall have a look at this. This will be what, an NVR 375? There isn't a sticker on the back. Well, there is, but it's. it's it's got this Scott Clean service on it. That's not their cleaning company, I don't think. Um, lots and lots of part test stickers from over the years. It'd be cool if we could look at some of the older ones and to see when it was first tested. Oh, that's a squeaky rewind. That's obviously a new plug. A very thin flex. I wonder if it's a new flex as well. This would be an extra long flex that's been added. Uh, it might be. Right, I'm I'm only gonna guess that that's had a longer flex put on it at some point. Let's give it a whirl. It doesn't seem like it's very much suction. What's happening there? Oh, it's that thing that be open.
it's got a wee bit hissy. When I first tried them, it wasn't very hissy. And, but they did have the filters swapped over. Maybe if that was good, that was swapped over. Hmm. They've obviously, they have been used with bags. I mean, oh, I meant to show you the underneath of that blue one. Have a look at how clean that is. It doesn't even need refurbished. Well, it will need refurbished, obviously, but that's cool. But yeah, this one might stay in the collection because I have a soft spot for these. Primary school had these. Although I think theirs were more late, 1980s but anyway this one's still really cool and you know they had half faces on them and oh did the video just cut off there I don't know my phone came up saying he's charged um they had half faces on it like that one one of them had a face but no letter and the other one had lettering but no face so get that um but yeah that is really cool we might keep it we'll probably well just a bit gutting that that sticker's missing but apart from that yeah very cool uh, and we have some nice new Henry Flo heads. If you give me half an hour, I'll reel this cable in. I think it's an extra long flex, because not only did it take about half an hour to unreel it, in, but it does feel very thin. Right, this cheap hose aside. But it's very, very plausible that it had a long flex added on it, because obviously the guy I got these off did it all his ones and he does know how to repair vacuums in the van. Now this one is one of the ones that his wife kept for cleaning. Now as you can see the cable's hanging out of it and in his words she got a long, somebody put a long flex on it for her and it wasn't him for some, I don't know what that's about but anyway why don't you just get your husband to do it anyway. So the problem is when the person's put this on this is three core flex and the flex is so long it doesn't fit in so that's why the flex is really hard to reel out and then the flex is hanging out the hoover because when she asked for an extra long flex they've used three core which I'm going to be stealing or something I mean imagine this flex on an MB250 how cool would that be? never need an extension lead ever ever again there we go obviously this is a new vac this is a 2010 new vac lid on a yellow bucket Um. It should obviously be on a grey bucket, but it's on a yellow bucket. So, sorry, I just touched my volume button and it cut the video off. This one's not as clean. It's obviously this one still has a bag in it, but those two will have been very well maintained. But these ones are used commercially, so they're obviously a bit more battered. As you can see, it does have a genuine bag in it, very full. I just, it smells like an air freshener for a Hoover, but I haven't, I can't remember which one because I haven't smelled it since kind of summer of 2014 i know it's it was a very distinguished year for me and it's really really taking me back i don't know what one it is so um summer of 2014 if you go back to my videos was uh, when i got that new new vac and i was play, playing out here with one of my seven hoovers anyway oh this one has a, a poles and a head it's got gray poles that are new and genuine then a cheap head on it which they might be the pulse for that, I don't know. Yeah, just a cheap head. And I think it's a cheap pose. Well, it looks like a cheap pose. Plastic hose cuff. Yeah, it will be. Maybe not. I don't know. Looks like quite a long hose, actually. Anyway, let's plug this heap of cable in. I think this is going on an N um, NV250. Because I have got an NV250 I use quite a lot. Sounds pretty good. Suction it also needs a good clean out, but yeah, I don't even know if there's any point trying to reel that cable in. Dear me, um, yeah, let's just kind of put that there just now. This is the other one. Now, this one's had a, an extra long flex on it, but I'm gonna assume he's put that on because it's too poor. It's got the straps which are nice and crusty. Yep, that bit's always getting half of somebody's cat in it. Uh, obviously this is one with a switch on a cable. It's a 620 watt one actually, it's not very old. Only has the hose, which has seen some use. So we might need to put a new cuff on that. It's also just a little bit battered, just a little bit. There's no bag in it, but it's obviously been used with one because it's fairly clean. Again, 
that kind of funny air freshener smell. It smells quite nice actually. Um, and this one does not have any wands or a head. But I didn't really want to refuse it just on that grounds. Let's check this isn't on. I don't actually remember if I tested this. Horrible short term memory. I remember plugging those in, but I didn't remember plugging this one in. Let's see. Is that not meant to light up? This actually was good, despite the yucky filter. Yeah, ain't much else to say really. It's just a backpack, that. Um, yeah, obviously somebody's done a proper job of that, so that's cool. So yes, I have another friend who has a quite a big cleaning business and they do a lot of high up dusting. And he, he was after one of these. I actually sold him a nice one from the collection as part of my downsizing. And uh, so I've been pointing at my legs half that. Um, then another one came up local to me. It actually looked exactly like this. It had an orange cable on it as well, but it wasn't from them because it wasn't where they live. And it was like 50 quid. And I said, if you want another one, I can get you another one X amount. It's like, no, we're fine. But we'll maybe see if he needs one now. Jess, that is great. So yeah, what's the plan? Well, that's in nice condition, so we could clean up and sell that. It looks really nice, actually. I've already got a blue NRV, actually. It's a UDS one from him, from the original business. The bucket for it's there, but I actually cannibalised the... I didn't cannibalise the lid. I borrowed the motor out of it, but then the motor never went back in, but I have not... You get what I mean. So yeah, we might hang on to that just now. We'll probably do that up and sell it. Um, I'm tempted to keep the yellow bucket, actually. Hmm, options. Pardon me, that's no lunch coming back on me. Anyway, I'm quite curious to rip that apart and see how much we've got left in the motor, so we might do that now. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. That's a bit of excitement for the day, and I'll see you again soon.